How's it going everyone? In this video here, I'm going to be showing you guys how to ins not really install I guess, but how to assemble a stock 78 millimeter motor mount. For, uh, basically start to finish all your stuff, all your tools you're going to need. Uh, if you got a press, that would be ideal, but if not, if you're like me you don't have a press, get a good size hammer, a pair of snap ring pliers, I use a pair of Craftsman. Um, 27 millimeter big fat impact sock is what I use. Um, I use these two for you know, installing the bearing you'll see here in a few. Um, parts you're going to need, you need two snap rings, a large one and a small one. Um, this is your um, basically a chain tensioner bolt. Um, this is a Nachi Quest high quality Japanese bearing. Um, it's a lot more high quality than the, what you typically get. You know, from Dave's Motors or something like that. If you're interested in getting one of these high quality bearings, they aren't cheap, they are a bit pricey, but they're very worth it. That's the part number on it. Any questions, um, you can shoot me a message or post up. Got our cast, this is a stock, nothing fancy or special, stock, 78 millimeter mount, and your 78 millimeter bell. So let's go ahead and get into the video, show you guys how to install it all. First thing you're gonna wanna do is install your bearing. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Let's hold right here. Probably a call for GoPid questions. Yeah, I got, I got a call for GoPid. You already, you already called me on my phone. Look at that, you guys are good. Haven't made the video yet. <laughs> All right, so we got our bearing here, high quality bearing. What you're gonna wanna do is if you got the press, like I said, you press it in, that's ideally what you wanna do. If not, basically you're gonna wanna just pound it in there. So, center that up best you can. Got my 27 millimeter socket here, it's an impact. On the fat back side of the socket is what you're gonna wanna be using against the, the bearing here. And if you look at it, you see how the socket is slightly bigger than the bearing? That is what you want, you don't want smaller. You always want a bigger socket, or bigger than the bearing. It gives you more surface area and it's gonna protect your bearing as well, so. Set that down the best we can. Got our socket, back side of it. Go ahead. Nice light tapping, nothing crazy. All around. So we got that seated now pretty much. Um, hang on one second, I gotta get my other socket I forgot to grab to fully seat it. Sorry about that, I should have been more prepared. It's been a while. <laughs> Anyways, you're gonna need a 24 millimeter socket for this section of it. Basically, perfectly the size of the, uh, the outside of the bearing edge, just to pound down that last little bit. Nice and light, don't get all crazy or nothing like that. So if you look now in here, it's fully seated. The bearing's fully seated down, and if you wanna double check that it's fully seated, you flip it over and you can see that the bearing is fully seated on the outside edge. It's fully flush with the outside edge. Now what you're gonna wanna do is take your snap ring pliers, take your snap ring to install it. It says here, and again, safety glasses, safety first. Um, you don't wanna your ring to snap back and nail you in the eye. That would not be fun. Um, anyways here, got our snap ring. Take our snap ring pliers. Gonna go ahead and pull those in. And if you look, there's a little groove in there is where this snap ring is gonna wanna seat into. So I've got it set in there. I'm gonna press it down and it locks it in place. Now what I like to do to check to make sure I have it in there good is I flip the switch on my little snap ring pliers here and basically put it back in those holes right there and just kinda press it out. See how it moved out right there and it fully locked in place? That is 100% ideal what you want to make sure happens. You don't want that snap ring in there coming loose. So as you guys saw, it did move, which is great perfect for the video. So you guys saw how that worked on the outside here now. Um, we got our bell that's gonna go through there. If you see here on our bell, there's that little groove. That's where our little snap ring is gonna snap over. So on this guy here, gonna press it in like that. A lot of times you can just press it through there with your hand for the most part. I got it almost all the way through. But to finish getting it through, we're gonna go ahead 
and just give it a couple taps. Now you see here, I don't know if you can tell well you can see on camera here, but that little groove from the bell here is now showing through. It's exactly what you want to have happen. So now what we're gonna do is take our little baby snap ring here, get our pliers here, got our pliers, and we're gonna open that snap ring up just enough to get it over this edge here. So we get it over that, and then again, press it down so it snaps in place. So you saw how that all snapped in. Now what I like to do again, I flip the little switch on my pliers here, and now double check that everything is seated in there. So you guys saw there, it didn't move on that side, which means everything is 100% seated on there now. So lastly, one thing you really have left to do is install your tensioner bolt which is for adjusting your chain tension. Very simple and easy, nothing, nothing fancy. Just screw it in. And you'll screw it all the way down pretty much for the most part. Get it all the way in there best you can. And then you can go ahead and install it on your pit here, which I will show you guys that here in a little bit. But that's how you guys install or assemble a 78 millimeter motor mount. Uh, if you guys have any questions, any questions on the bearing, whatever it may be, go ahead and send me a message, post up. I'll be happy to help out. And as always, thanks for watching.